structure is going to be you bringing order to the chaos. So when a woman gives you chaos, you have only one proper answer in the equation of life. And that answer is chaos from her, order from you, not chaos from you. The more chaotic she gets, the more perfect stoic you become. You see that? It's the only way to balance out the yin and the yang and not lose. Because if she goes chaos, she starts expressing it. And then you express chaos. Chaos is her energy. So you are now feeding her power. But if she starts expressing chaos and you hold order in front of her, she goes more chaos, you hold order. In order for her to understand you, she must begin to become orderly in her thought process. So as you saw Paul was doing, he kept saying the same thing over and over and over again, getting her to get that one communication. That's called order. And eventually, he had her agreeing with all the pieces. That's how he brought order. Now, he would have, if he got emotional with her, and went all over the place in the communication. In communication, you have a point to make. So think of a pyramid, think of a triangle to a point. In communication, you have a point to make. The whole purpose of your communication is to get the point across. Think about that for a second. The only reason that you communicate is to get your point across. There is no other reason. If there is, you haven't looked at communication. It's a weapon that goes out. You communicate and you put out a particle the moment you do that. You see that? I mean, I have to do that for you to hear it. I shoot out particles in the universe when I communicate. So do you. So what particles are you shooting out, <clears throat> right? Well, it's not the words so much as the vibration, right? The vibration but check this out some words have vibrations i don't know if it's over time or what it is but if i said to you for example let's say big okay. Okay. nice thighs exactly the way you like that big lips soft lips the tongue around your okay those words seem to have emotions behind them, but you're the one creating the emotion because those words don't have emotions behind them. Those words inside of your system are buttons that I can push from here. And so we have a technique <clears throat> that we practice in the shower. <clears throat> it's called turn into statue and turn to stone, <laughs> like Shamir said. Okay? And the other day I was in a situation where one of my girlfriends suddenly got really upset and she was like, blah, 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 and I didn't say anything. I was on the phone. She finished, I didn't say nothing. Then I could hear her breathing and she was like, blah, 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 blah. I didn't say nothing. She goes, are you there? I go, I'm here. It was interesting when I said that. Something moved inside of her. Because <laughs> I didn't say it like, <clears throat> I'm here, or yeah, or what? I was like, I'm here. Like, I was present, you know what I mean? Like, let's go. I'm, I'm prepared. What's up? <clears throat> I'm going to pull a Jordan to Mario. What's up? Right? And sit on a rock and look in the sun. What's going on? We turn into stone. We have weapons against the world. It's called philosophy. Applied philosophy. Man. Man. Go out there with your philosophy as your sword. Nobody can with you. Now, here's a philosophy. Ready? I got one for you. May nothing bind you. Take it. May nothing bind you. Bind means to hold on to you. May nothing bind you. It means may nothing hold you. Okay, it's a tattoo. My tattoos are all alchemy, every one of them. 
every one of them is a symbol with power. And I have one that says, may nothing bind you, except that you're not going to see it unless I'm not wearing clothes. It's tattooed very low. It's not, it's around my, it's around it, it's above it. Okay. And it's, <clears throat> I mean, it's tattooed there for that reason. It's hidden. It's the hidden power that I've had my whole life. When I read the words, I read the words, may nothing bind you in a book. <clears throat> and it was a teacher told his student, may nothing bind you, right? And when I read those words, something inside of me. So every time I would think to myself, may nothing bind you, I would get this image of the book and where I read it and the images in the book, right? And so I tattooed, may nothing bind you below my navel in this manner like this, like a script, right? And people don't know about it, but the reason I'm telling you about it is because it's time the world knows these things and so you understand where these powers come from. So if you want nothing to bind you, your first thing is you must bind nothing. It's a yin and a yang universe. Whatever you hold on to is holding on to you too. Right? You are literally holding on and wanting to be free. So whatever you don't want to bind you, don't hold on. And what does it mean to hold on? What do we hold on to? We hold on to a hope, an unreality. Something has shifted and we're still holding on. What does that mean? We're not seeing the moment for what it is. We're not aware of, of the communication of life, the dance of life. Let me tell you something, my friends. Stay in connection the way I am.